the hardest part from this whole 12 weeks is getting along with everybody and making sure we all work together to get our exercises done and get every challenge done. The most rewarding part is knowing that I'm a little bit fitter and that I'm, I, I am a little bit healthier and stronger and I do feel better about myself. In six to 10 to 12 months from now, I would have told myself, just keep going, just do it. Um, stay with the program, eat right, and the results will come. Uh, the hardest part over the past 12 weeks for me has been the consumption of my time. Uh, it really does take a lot of time and effort. And, um, but what got me through it is knowing that I'm building a healthier me. The most rewarding part, um, feeling better. Feeling like I have the energy to get outside and do some things with my kids. I think I'll take with me the, um, the friendships that I've made, the knowledge that I've learned, about eating right, eating healthier, um, and just enjoying life, you know, being able to get outside, be more active, enjoying life. That day. The hardest part for me has been just overcoming things. I've had to overcome having a stress fracture in my foot and now having knee issues and having a miscarriage and just being a diabetic. The most rewarding part for me has been, I've actually noticed the way my husband looks at me being a little bit different. Um, he has told me that he's proud of me, and that means a lot. I guess what I will take with me from here on is that just because things happen that you know make it harder doesn't mean that it makes it impossible and that you can still do it if you have your mind set. I guess a year from now, I would like to remember where I started and see that way I can look back and see how far I've come and then set new goals to keep going. The hardest part is having to come after school every day for the past 12 weeks. The most rewarding part is losing this many pounds in this short amount of period. Because for me, it was hard to lose weight in the beginning. Um, I would tell myself that I do not want to get back to the way I was and that if I do, then I will be in a bad place. I've learned how to schedule my time and be able to do something for myself, even when they're The hardest part was being able to give up my family and do this for me. I feel good. Oh, I feel good. That was hard, but it was good. The most rewarding part is losing the weight and getting healthy so that I can be with my family. What I've learned the most is that I can do things that I never, ever thought that I would do. What's the hardest part? <laughs> the hardest part for me is pushing my mind past what I feel like my body 
can do, my mind stops me a lot of times and I can't. So that's been the hardest and I feel like I've finally broken through, broken through that and I can do more than I think I can do. Um, to keep me motivated in the months to come, I will tell myself and I know in my heart that I never ever want to feel like I did those first few weeks of EFM. It was the most unhealthy, helpless, weak feeling that I have ever felt in my life and I know that I will never ever get to that point again and feel that way again. Well, these last 12 weeks I've learned that um, to not give up, to just believe in myself, and to take everything that they give me and put it into my life and incorporate it. Um, probably the hardest for me the past three months has been um, just feeling tired and knowing that I had to make myself keep going and um, just, like I said, never giving up. If I had to say anything to keep myself going from this day forward, I would probably say, do I want to go back to that person I used to be? Do I want to be that person who is out of shape? You know, I, I have this in me now that just wants to keep going and, you know, hopefully the next time my friends see me, they're going to be able to see even more of a difference and I want to incorporate that into my life. Um, the thing I've taken away from the past 12 weeks is to make time for myself. I've always been a wife and a mom and kind of just put myself in the background and now I know it's okay to have time for me and make sure I'm healthy because that would be what my family needs. The hardest part of the journey is probably the time commitment. Um, I've missed a lot. I have a five-year-old son and I've missed a lot with him. Um, from being at the workouts and doing homework. Um, so I'm excited to get that time back. The thing I'll tell myself three months in the future is to look back on the past 12 weeks and see where I started and see how far I've come and know that I don't I've enjoyed getting back on track and the friends that I've made these past 12 weeks. That, that part of this will definitely be missed. The hardest part has been the time management. Staying at school, since I'm a teacher, staying at school till 5 o'clock, then going to the gym and working out, not getting home until after 7, 7.30 at night. I think this is a continual process and I'm excited to see what the next stage brings. Um, I think, you know, that now now that this is over we can all customize workouts and what we're gonna do to our to our own health and, and fitness and go from there. One, two, three. 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 Three.